Hello, hello, and welcome back. Uh, in my previous video, I um, went through my fanny pack, which is kind of the second level of my everyday carries. This is my first level, which are my pants. Um, these are Levi 502s. They've been good jeans. Um, they're my only pair of jeans that I own, which I'll kind of dive more into when I go through, hush dog, when I go through um, my wardrobe. But good pants, carry everything well, and I do carry quite a bit of stuff in my pockets. So these are the front of the jeans, obviously. Um, in the first, in the front left pocket, I will carry my wallet. Now this is just a, I've just been playing around with some origami card holder wallet things. Uh, I don't typically carry this. This is literally just a piece of printer paper. Um, I just was just playing around with kind of origami stuff. I don't know. I got bored one day. What I typically carry my in as a wallet is actually this, which is a Dyneema or DCF material wallet. Very lightweight, very simple, two compartments, two slots for cards. Um, really, I just like keeping everything as, as simple and slim as possible. And this, when fully flattened, is as thin as couple of pieces of paper and then uh, when it got when it's full I mean this is light 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 I mean it almost floats when you throw it so this has actually worked out really well it ages well um, I've had that for about a year keeping things in the front pocket like that you definitely want your wallet to be very very slim and that's pretty much all I keep in my front left pocket my front right pocket is dedicated to a couple of items one uh, which is my pocket knife I don't know how people go through life without a pocket knife of some sorts. Um, this is my preferred pocket knife now and in the in the foreseen future. This is a knife made by uh, Jeffrey Freeman. Um, he was a designer for Gerber, but this has got really great materials, all and all aluminum handle, S forty five VN blade steel, and uh, micarta inserts, button lock, which is very strong, very fidgety. I play with this thing all the time. This was also a wonderful gift by my brother um, when he surprised me with that. So that has not left my pocket, nor will it ever. The next thing I've got going is a Zippo lighter. This is actually a copper Zippo lighter. Um, it was a gift as well and has not left my pocket since, but you can kind of see some pretty good patina on there. Uh, this actually has the torch insert. There you go, um, which is pretty cool. I took out the other insert because this one will not leak uh, or evaporate fuel. So this is just a simple butane uh, torch. So that hangs on to fuel quite a bit better. Um, that also has not left my pocket since the day I got it and it won't. Next thing I've got is a flashlight. I'm not exactly sure which brand of flashlight this is. I'll have to, to look that up, but it's very small, very uh, compact and pretty bright. I mean, it definitely could be brighter, but the cool thing about this one is it actually has, a, it's like a stick light as well. And what I mean is like you hit this three times, it actually is a kind of a lantern style and then you can cycle through flashes. This is a blue light or a UV light. This is a red light and you've got red flash and then red and UV. And then it kind of goes back to white. The other thing about this is it glows in the dark. So when it sits in the sun it'll or is lit up, it'll actually glow in the dark. Uh, I like this. This can also be used as a headlamp um, on a hat brim. I haven't used this one this particular one as much like that, but um, that one is usually dedicated to the flashlight that I had in my fanny pack, which if you haven't seen that video, go check that out because I may be referencing a few things from that. But this has been a pretty good little light, uh, USB-C rechargeable, which I always look for because I am pretty minimal and I have one charging cable for pay basically all my electronics. Um, so I like to have a kind of a uniform charger. So a little flashlight there. And then I think that's everything I've got in the main pocket, the little coin pocket. I actually do keep a big mini. Um, so I've got a handful of different ways of, of lighting things. Uh, this one is actually just in case I wanted to 
uh, lend a lighter to someone, I don't want to give them my good one because lighters are one of those things that tend to magically uh, disappear when you hand them to friends or acquaintances. Uh, this is one of my very prized EDC possessions. This is probably nearing 20 years old. This is the Swiss Army SD Classic. Uh, scissors, knife, nail file, pretty, pretty basic. Um, I think at a minimum, everybody should carry something like this. I use this mostly for grooming, uh, my nails and trimming and filing. Um, the scissors is probably the number one thing I use from this. I don't use the toothpick or tweezers much on this because um, I have dedicated tweezers in my fanny pack. So this is just one of those things. It's if I had to carry just one thing, it'd probably be along the lines of, of this, this guy here. This has come in so handy. Like I said, I've had it nearing 20 years probably. And this is the original toothpick and tweezers. So I'm, I'm shocked too. I don't know how I've kept those in there. Those are usually the very first things to go. Um, and then the rest, I just have a little bit of change. So flipping over to the back, I actually don't put anything in the back, um, right pocket that is typically de dedicated to my cell phone, uh, back left pocket. I keep a handkerchief. I do have another one in my fanny pack, which I typically will use for cleaning, wiping down or dusting things. But this one is used as a handkerchief. Um, some people say it's gross, but runny noses and sneezing happens. So I'd rather have something other than my sleeve and or sneezing in people's faces to be able to wipe my nose off with. So uh, I keep one in my back pocket. I like the bright colors. Um, I tend to not forget them if I ever do take them out of my pocket. Uh, but And they don't show dirt and grime quite as badly. And then another weird thing that I kind of carry, uh, I do carry baby wipes with me everywhere I go. Um, it's either to wipe after using the restroom or I use them to clean other things, just like wipe things down a table or a cell phone or whatever N needs to be wiped down. Um, I don't not partial to brand on these. It's just whether they're flushable or not. And I like the travel sized ones. I just shove it in my pocket. So that's, I know I say that's everything that I carry in my pockets, but uh, that really is everything that I carry in my pockets. It seems like a lot, but after years and years and years of doing it, you don't even notice that stuff anymore. Um, I wish I could have the mindset of just walking out of the house with my cell phone and maybe my wallet and nothing else, but I like to be useful. So I do not do that. I do carry a firearm. Um, which I have not shown in this video, but that is something else that I do carry on a daily basis. I might cover that in more of an extended everyday carry type thing. Um, maybe part of my jacket carry, but I'm not going to show that on, on this channel as of yet. Um, so if there's anything uh, that I have here that you have questions on or, um, or have anything specific you want to dive into further in, in terms of everyday carry. Uh, let me know. I'm happy to, to share. See you next time.